Welcome to this week's Meow, or Monday's Essential Operating Wetware. This week we are going to delve into muzzle devices, and why CAT designs muzzle devices to accompany our suppressor systems, and the interplay between muzzle devices and suppressor performance. In the world of firearms, the push for gunshot suppression has led to the adoption of silencers, or what CAT likes to refer as suppressors. Modern suppressors are designed to muffle sound and flash, reduce back pressure, recoil and muzzle rise. However, what many users may not realize is that the performance of a suppressor is closely intertwined with the muzzle device upon which it's mounted. Understanding this relationship is vital for maximizing the potential of both components and ensuring optimal suppression performance. The muzzle devices used for suppressors include both flash hiders and muzzle brakes, with both variants serving specific purposes when used unsuppressed and as a quick detach for suppressor mounting. When used as a singular device, they help reduce visible muzzle flash, counteract the upward movement of the gun barrel, or reduce recoil. But when you introduce a suppressor into the equation, the muzzle device's role dramatically expands based simple mounting. Now it also acts as a dynamic interface between the firearm and the suppressor. In CAT R&D, the team looks specifically at four muzzle device characteristics that affect the performance of the suppressor. Let us help give you a little explanation of each. One, gas flow regulation. A significant factor in how a suppressor works is the flow and direction of the propellant gases exiting the barrel, and muzzle devices can alter this flow. For instance, a muzzle brake designed to redirect gases sideways and backward will interact differently with a suppressor than a simple flash hider, which primarily seeks to minimize visible muzzle flash. The redirection and pressure changes can affect the suppressor's internal performance, potentially reducing its effectiveness or, conversely, optimizing it for certain conditions. 2. Alignment and Accuracy Muzzle devices must ensure that the suppressor is perfectly aligned with the bore of the firearm. Even slight misalignments can lead to baffle strikes, where the bullet contacts the suppressor's internal structures. Such incidents can damage the suppressor, reduce its effectiveness, and most importantly, result in inaccurate shots. Therefore, the mounting options to mate the suppressor and muzzle device must take into consideration possible loosening or misalignment. 3. Heat dissipation. Suppressors can get extremely hot with continuous firing. Some muzzle devices can act as a heat sink, absorbing some of this generated heat and slowing the rate at which the suppressor heats up. This supports the prolonging of a suppressor's lifespan and maintain consistent performance during extended shooting sessions. 4. Harmonics and vibration. Every time a firearm is fired, vibrations, or harmonics, travel down the barrel. These harmonics can affect the bullet's trajectory and thus the overall accuracy of the shot. Certain muzzle devices can alter these harmonics. When a suppressor is added to the mix, the combination of the two can either enhance or degrade accuracy, depending on the synergy between the specific muzzle device and suppressor. Now that you understand these points, you can understand better the profound effects a muzzle device can have on suppressor performance. CAT has taken considerable time in pairing these two components for our systems, hence the specific creation of the Spooky 1 and Spooky 2. Some suppressor manufacturers offer muzzle devices specifically designed for use with their suppressors, and at CAT, we believe it's essential that a user purchases a complete suppression system from the same manufacturer, not for increased revenue but sheer performance. CAT's muzzle devices are tested for optimal alignment, gas flow, and harmonic interaction with CAT suppressors, and are not recommended for other manufacturers' products for the same reasons mentioned here today. However, for those looking to mix and match brands or models, firstly, it's essential to research compatibility, to ask the OEM manufacturer or retailer whether the muzzle device, quick detach and suppressor of your choice, have been combined together. Ensuring compatibility is the first step. Secondly, seek expert guidance. Gunsmiths or seasoned shooters can often provide insights into which combinations work well in practice. And thirdly, test the combination in a controlled environment. This helps ensure that there are no baffle strikes and that accuracy remains consistent. While muzzle devices and suppressors each serve their purposes, their interplay is a testament to the intricate world of CAT performance optimization. CAT will always recommend direct threat adaption first as it removes any possible performance variance that a muzzle device could cause. Unless the user requires constant quick detachment functionality, having a neutral pressure dispersion inside the suppressor's blast chamber 
will lead to the highest amount of technical performance. If a quick detachment option is needed, CAT recommends a threaded mating system between the two components, preferably 1x16 left hand. Now that users understand these technical factors better, we hope more informed decisions can be made when pairing muzzle devices for optimal suppressor performance.